Senegal is winning the fight against climate change and mass deforestation, thanks to one man's passion for nature, which led to the largest mangrove replanting project in the region. The initiative, which aims to replant millions of mangroves along the coast, is proving to other West African ocean-facing countries that they too can reclaim ecosystems that, on the verge, that are on the verge of being destroyed. Former Senegalese Environment Minister and Environmentalist Hadir El Ali walked alongside some farmers and residents towards a clump of young trees, which are part of his mangrove regeneration project. Feet deep in the mud, the farmers and residents plant mangrove buds as they sing together, a reflection of their commitment to the success of the project. Some of the mangrove buds are brought here by the farmers, whilst others are picked up from where the currents carry them with the sand. Some of the buds that have been moved by the current ended up here, but this is not the suitable area for them. And if we look around, you see that there are plenty of buds that have ended up here, but can grow and they die. So I'm bringing them over there, closer to the water, so we can try to make them grow. According to Livelihood Funds, the mangrove restoration program is the largest in the world. About 10% is funded by the government, while the bulk of the funds come from private companies. We started in 2006 in a village where we started planting with young people from Tobo, 65,000 mangroves in 2007. 15 villages joined us and we planted 700,000 mangroves. In 2008, the Yes Rocha Foundation got interested in what we were doing, and with them we planted 6 million mangroves. Courtesy of the initiative, Senegal has regained more than 10,000 hectares of mangroves, enabling villagers to cultivate rice on land they previously lost. <laughs> You see the rice paddies here. They were non-arable land with a lot of salt. But with the replanting that started in 2006, we were able to use this land for rice paddies. All that surface was not arable land. Hadir El Ali hopes that more countries will follow the example of the more than 100,000 Senegalese who made it happen. You know, when you plant a tree, it gives you so much, and people all over the world realize that. But you just need to have to be there with them. Here it is possible. We are proven with the mangrove that it is possible. And we will continue this operation, and we won't stop. I hope more and more people will get involved, and further and further we shall go. Mangroves are a living bioshield and protector against storms. They filter pollutants, provide a critical food source, and have a carbon storage capacity up to five times bigger than rainforests. Hadir El Ali believes that with the project, he's found an easy and lasting solution because it involves local communities, which are critical in ensuring the sustainability of the program.